Hi, my name is Glenn Smith, founder and CEO of Fragile to Agile. The topic for this video today is what's the difference between enterprise architecture and solution architecture? Uh, before I go into detail on this topic, I might suggest that you, have, if you haven't already, have a look at the video that's just describing what is enterprise architecture. But as a quick recap, um, the analogy for enterprise architecture is town planning for your business and IT systems. Um, so if you think of enterprise architecture as town planning, then solution architecture is actually probably more uh, aligned in an analogy sense to traditional civic uh, civil architecture. So it's the thing that designs the actual buildings, shopping centers, uh, etc. in your overall town, adhering to the building codes and the principles and the vision for the city that's set by enterprise architecture. And so enterprise architecture, the first pass is strategic and it talks about the set of projects that are required to de deliver the sort of transformation required to ensure that your business delivers on its business intent. Solution architecture then takes all those individual projects and drives it to the next level of detail and actually describes uh, what are the different components of that solution. Um, so that's an overview, if you like, in a bit more detail, uh, as we usually do, we'll uh, refer to the Fragile to Agile Integrated Architecture Framework. So first of all, using the framework, we'll have a look at what we call uh, enterprise architecture, the noun, or enterprise architecture, the discipline. And our framework is actually quite simple to describe what the scope of enterprise architecture, the discipline is. It is essentially to complete each one of these cells, or at least all those cells that are relevant for your organization um, um, at the strategic level. So it, enterprise architecture needs to understand the business intent to make sure that all the rest the remaining domains of design are driven by what your business is trying to achieve. But having understood that, because it doesn't certainly own business intent, uh, it then makes sure that the business design, people design, and technology design um, as uh, artifacts and changes that are required in order to be able to deliver on the business intent. So it simply completes the artifacts that complete each one of these cells in the strategic layer of the framework. Well, that's enterprise architecture, the discipline or the noun. But we also say it's subtly different for enterprise architecture, the verb or enterprise architecture, the role. Because enterprise architecture, the role and the uh, verb actually also has to sneak into the solution architecture. And specifically its role in looking at the solution architecture is to make sure that the individual solutions are aligned with the strategic intent and to make sure that they adhere to the building codes, principles, etc. set down. They also have another role when they're looking at the individual solutions and that's because, uh, because an enterprise architect or an enterprise architecture function gets to have a look at all of the different solutions within an organization's project portfolio. Um, it also has the opportunity to look for common themes across those and point out, in fact, there are two solutions here that are both looking for uh, a way of solving this particular problem and the enterprise architecture function can see that and get those two talking together and obviously hopefully trying to solve that solution, uh, try to solve that problem just once and once only. So then what about solution architecture, the discipline or solution architecture, the noun? Well, that's actually because we use the same framework, pretty much the same thing repeated. So, for the conceptual layer of design within the framework is solution architecture. So for a particular solution within the overall project portfolio, what is the business intent for that solution? And then what does that mean for the business design, people design, the technology design for that solution? So it's effectively just taking it to the next level of detail and looking at a specific solution. Um, and again, it's a very similar analogy. There's a subtle difference between the solution architecture, the noun, or the discipline, which is for completing all of those cells for an individual project, to solution architecture, the verb or the role. Because it breaches first, sorry, I beg your pardon, reaches into, first of all, the enterprise architecture. Because any good enterprise architect in our role, in our view, should consult the solution architects in an organization when developing the strategic deliverables of the set of principles and building codes. So a solution architect's role should also be to inform uh, and be consulted by the enterprise architect when developing the enterprise architecture artifacts. And similar to an enterprise architect who has a sort of governance role down on the solution architecture, the solution architect should also have a role in the solution engineering or solution design, the logical layer of our framework, um, to ensure 
that the actual next level of detail design for his solution adheres to the overall solution architecture that he has defined for that solution. Um, and that's pretty much uh, the difference between enterprise architecture and solution architecture. So just to, to repeat that, you know, enterprise architecture is uh, fundamentally strategic in nature. Um, though the role has a, um, dips into the conceptual design for solutions to make sure they adhere to the strategic vision. And solution architecture is fundamentally at the project level, though the role has, has some uh, uh, part to play in the development of the enterprise architecture artifacts and then down into the solution uh, design or software engineering, if you prefer that term, for the solution to make sure that the engineering, the next level of detail, adheres to the architecture. So that's an enterprise architecture and solution architecture, what the difference is between them. But just briefly to round up the topic, what about some other roles? So there are other roles, um, like technical domain specialists in the fragile to agile terminology. So within the business design domain, you might have business process, process design specialists, user experience design specialists. Within the technology domain, you'll have an integration architect, you might have a security architect, data architect. So each of the domains of design can have a technical specialist or a specialist in that particular domain. And we call those domain specialists in our language. Um, and then what about the term application architect, uh, which you hear often? Uh, in our view, um, somewhat controversially perhaps, an application architect is just a not very well-rounded solution architect that only has skills in a particular application or a particular solution. And finally, business architect. Well, the business architect role is the role that fundamentally owns the business designs of domain, and they're a specialist in, across those, de those designs of domain. Um, and the, um, they also have a role in understanding the business strategy, perhaps in their business unit, if their business unit aligned, and translating that business strategy into a set of initiatives. That's it. I hope that helped you understand enterprise architecture and solution architecture and the difference between them. Thank you for listening and I hope it was of help and value.